Taylor Hawks runs the point guard for Jacksonville State. For Pearson, she shows off the mid-range game. Yeah, there's a... Pearson works her way in from 15 and scores. With their help defense, they'll get a lot of open shots. There are so many offensive weapons on the perimeter for Moorhead. And a mid-range shot goes through for Yamaya Johnson. Freshman out of Lexington. Shot clock winding down. Back to Long. And the baseline jump shot is good. And they got the jump shot there. So Moorhead State switched to their player-to-player -player defense, which I thought was interesting because the guard, the 2-3 zone was actually working. Back inside and an easy one. It's Destiny Elliott. We thought it might be the defense that would shine in this game as Johnson has her second three. Jacksonville State, 36% from the floor. Perry the three, and she knocks it down. Perry individually gets to the cup for the first Jacksonville State basket of the second. And that's how the first half goes, but I, I do think that that has affected them. Yeah, there, was, there was more hand sanitizer there yesterday than Gatorade. Oh, I, I was at practice yesterday, and Coach Warmly was walking around. Yeah, I certainly didn't expect a 20-point lead in the game. Thought it was going to be a knockdown, drag-out fight for sure. Well, Brianna Perry's given them a nice lift off the bench time. Individually, she's peaking at the right time. Four straight 20-plus scoring games. Now, that shot was missed, but obviously you see there with Raven Pearson cleaning it up. But that was... Jumping lanes is Taylor Hawks. And she has her first basket of the day as the third quarter. Well, Moorhead State looking to come into this tournament as Hawks hits her first three of the day. Moorhead looking. But her defense has always been there. Top 10 player in steals. Walker the miss, long the putback. Hawks looking for back-to-back -back threes. That's another play that Coach Long had the injury two years ago that forced her to play in just eight games. And here's Long on the offensive rebound, and she rips through for a lay-in. Yeah, and I think one of the things that you know makes them appealing is they've been able to balance, you know, the freshmen coming in with transfers from all different parts of the country. Either look uh, tomorrow's going to be a double sock day for sure. Got lucky with the thick socks today. Oh, nice play out of the timeout going right to Raven Pearson. Back for Pearson. Willis, the pull-up pop, book it. See that? Score at South Webster High School. Back in for Pearson, playing in her final game, and it'll end with a double-double. He's -double. just been a...